name is Cyan. Um, I'm a recently graduated artist from uh, Limerick School of Art and Design and I work in Wickham Street Studios in Limerick in both drawing, painting and then also performance as well. So I began with performance um, for my piece, the dress rehearsals of the apparition of St. Veronica, which is a mouthful. But um, it was all about um, the life drawing set up, these apparatuses that we have in traditional art um, and how we take them for granted, like the roles of the model, the, the role of life drawing and that kind of person to person interaction. So I thought performance was a really nice way to get that across to a live audience. So I built a huge camera obscura that um, kind of disguised itself as a changing screen for a model in a life drawing performance. And so she went behind there and then there was a hidden lens inside and so her image was projected out onto the front of the camera obscura. And so I've been using that technique um, you know, since COVID, we haven't been able to um, stage performances live anywhere. And the idea of person to person contact is very fraught at the minute. So I've been using that technique and that structure, the camera obscura, in my um, painting practice, just in the studio to gain imagery to work from. Um, I suppose I've always been painting, I um, or drawing at least. Um, my family are artistic in the way that my father is a musician my mother was always um painting um in like an amateur class um and we always went to exhibitions um but i suppose i never went to the national gallery until later on in school and um that kind of serious interest in art really blossomed as i went through school and i realized i, I wasn't bad academically but I, I had no interest in anything other than just making paintings <laughs> I suppose I'm really inspired by a lot of traditional art. So, um, like you say that, but that takes in such a wide range of painters, like Dutch Golden Age, especially of Vermeer, um, and the just the quality of his paintings is beautiful. With that kind of blue light around them, the stillness, um, interests me. And then, um, I think of Rubens. I think of um, Velasquez. Um, I'm really interested in portraiture and, and the portrayal of um, of people. So those painters who seem to, like they're hundreds of years old, but you look at the canvas and it feels like you're talking or looking at a real person. I think that really resonates with me. Um, with my most recent kind of works, they're all figurative, like they all use human bodies, human faces, but so using the female body as a way of exploring the politics surrounding um, not only gender, but um, how we interact and how we treat people. Um, I'm always interested in just that interaction between the model and the artist in the studio, whether it's a life model or someone who's coming in for a um, commission portrait. And how they're sitting there they're in front of the artist and they have that shared time together and the relationship between those people so with life drawing or even drawing and painting from images gained from the camera obscura i'm trying to recreate some of that feeling of being in front of another person i think i suppose when i prefer to paint people that i know so if someone that I don't know asks me to paint them, I have to try and get to know them. And that can take a lot of sittings. So when someone commissions me, I have to warn them an awful lot that this will take a while and you'll be sick of the sight of me after a while. But I think that's the only way that you can get to know someone. Because the people that you know the best, you can't even picture their, their face, I think. It's someone that you kind of half know, you can picture them very well. Someone that you know so well, they're just like an idea in your head at that point. So I'm really lucky in that this year I have my first international solo show coming up in Stockholm in Sweden. So I'm actually heading away for that in two weeks time and all the work that I've been making for the past nearly a year, I'd say like eight months or that, has been going towards that show and also the show I have on in Ennis Timon, which is wrapping up on the 12th of June. Um, so I've had like a nice um few projects to be working towards this year and I've been lucky that um like I got into the flow early enough in college of applying to things and getting used to failures and 
just sending out applications to things that were way above my um, capabilities or reputation or anything. But eventually a few of them click. So I had a residency in 126 in Galway back in 2019, which was really great. Um, and that taught me a lot um, about like being in a different city, um, getting to know like curators working with artists in a studio, but also like the time I've spent in Wickham Street, I've been here since the summer between second and third year, I got a studio here and I've come back every summer. Um, And it was just like so wonderful to actually get into the flow of working as an independent artist, like in that scene and feeling it out and seeing whether that was for me. And it definitely was like, that's why I always came back. 